Hey everyone, welcome back to Where's Will's Manufactured Home Tours. It's Will with ManufacturedHomes.com. And we are again at the 2023 Louisville Manufactured Home Show, checking out one of the great homes they have on display here. They've had about 20 homes on display, and this one right here, this one is gorgeous. This one is known as the Winston 3276-211. And it's built by Redmond Homes in Topeka, Indiana. This home right here is a three bed, two bath, and it sits at 2,183 square feet. The dimensions of this home is a 72 by 30, and the base price for something like this goes for about 175 to 180 thousand dollars, depending on where you're at. But with all of the cool features and additions they have in this home, it can easily go up to about 210, 215 dollars. So, let's go take a home tour. Where's Will? Let's talk about the Winston. This home built by Redmond is gorgeous. And you're not going to know how gorgeous it is until the end of this tour. So let's get started. You know, walking into this living room, it has a nice little foyer right there. And of course, you saw the, oh, the walk up where you have a little inset doorway there. The living room size here is 20 feet 6 inches by 14 feet 5 inches. And it is absolutely huge. Um, you can, uh, that is an optional bookcase over there. This entertainment center, this built in entertainment center is awesome. You have your electric fireplace right there, your built in cabinets and shelves, and your barn doors. And if you've been following the channel, uh, I've said it again on another home tour. I would not have those barn doors up there, I would actually take them off. So then it's just a big, wide open entertainment system, which, like I said, I love. Um, one thing that I do think is cool here is on this side, you have uh, enough room for seating for at least, you know, four to five people overlooking, you know, the kitchen, which is really cool. Now we'll look at this foyer here. And hey, you know what? Let's see what's behind door number one here. And this is a coat closet right by the door so that is always good to have right by your door but you know if you want more information about this home the specs the the information the size all the options and so forth there's a link in the description below it'll take you directly to this floor plan where you can see some more photos check out some videos see some 3d tours most importantly get that pricing directly from a retailer near you and here we have a, a little small pantry right here right off of the kitchen but walking into the kitchen you haven't even seen it yet it is humongous humongous a little bit a little tidbit of information in this kitchen this kitchen has 23 drawers and 51 cabinet doors so my question to everybody is is do you have enough stuff to to fill up these <laughs> I, I wouldn't even be able to fill up one-fourth of these cabinets and drawers, I'll tell you what. So then, then the problem would be like, okay, where, where did I put everything? But like I said, this kitchen is huge. It has a nice farmhouse sink. We have a stainless steel whirlpool package. Everything is built in. You have a nice little, you can use that as a coffee bar right here. We have ceramic backsplashes everywhere. Um, nice cabinetry full wood inside out soft clothes really digging it so far um, we have a lazy susan right here uh, they did really well with you know the, the the staging of this home into where you know putting a lazy susan right there that makes sense in my opinion i don't know about you guys you let me know and then we have this beautiful uh french door refrigerator with a pull-out freezer on the bottom really nice lots lots of counter space um, I like those lights right there. Um, this home is canned lights throughout the entire thing. Um, just to let you know, we have a nice farmhouse sink here and all of the, the cutting board, the strainer, and rack do come with the home. Like I said, ceramic uh, backsplash throughout the entire kitchen. This is an optional island, um, huge plenty of storage underneath. Um, I like it there because, you know, depending on what you're cooking and so forth, you know, it's an added space, but with the amount of counter space here, do you really need it? Really? <laughs> the cabinets do go all the way to the top, which is nice. Um, this home has plenty of windows to let that natural light in, and again, the construction on those drawers amazing soft clothes as well you have your glass top stove and oven combo here and a nice range hood that just complements the whole look in my opinion 
really nice. The uh, registers, I'm noticing, are on the floor in this home. Um, so just to let you know about that. I mean, what? That, that one would be empty for me. <laughs> the other cabinet right there, that entire section would probably be empty. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. So I had to see how much room I'd have to have for nothing. And then here's, of course, your, your dining room area. You know, the uh, dining room area. It doesn't give us the size there, but good amount of space. You have a built-in microwave right there, more shelving. You got Congolium flooring throughout the house. And one thing about this home, which I thought is cool, is it has a den. These doors right here, these barn doors, are optional. So that's up to you. You can leave them on, leave them off. But this den is 12 feet by 12 feet 2 inches by 14 feet 5 inches and I love how it's just off of the the kitchen you know if you're just hanging out having friends over etc um, I love it I'm loving the the beams up top that's a nice accent feature that just warms up the room a little bit in my opinion really nice really nice I mean this home like I said you know the it's an open floor plan but it, it gives you separation within your your living spaces your working spaces and everything else and gives you plenty of room um, rather impressed so far with this home three big windows right there in the living room really cool you know now we are going to walk back here into the guest areas and check out this half of the house because you know that was only like half um, you know the first room that we're gonna go into is the first guest room now this one is a 12 foot one inch by 12 foot one inch room um, <laughs> Jeez, that's big. Two big windows. We have eight foot ceilings in this home. Um, nice trim on the bottom. Textured ceilings. Drywall throughout. The uh, walk, little closet here. We have wire shelves. Looking pretty good though. I like it, this house. You know, it's kind of funny. I mean, you think, you know, 2,100 square feet or more, you know, you'd have four bedrooms. This one, only three, gives you plenty of, like, open space, you know. And here's a, a, a linen closet right outside the, uh, the gas bath. Your air conditioning control is right there, as you can see. And now going into the first, you know, going into the gas bath, I like the, the length of it. Um, you have elongated toilets throughout the home. This is a 60-inch or 5-foot tub. Uh, tub shower combo nice and standard really good you have dual vanities with lighted mirrors which is a great option to have um, you can just turn that light switch on and that's really all you need you know in the in the whole bathroom here like I said can lights throughout backsplash nice design not chancing on the quality of this drawer same quality as out in the kitchen All right, now let's check out the second guest room. Now this second guest room is 12 feet 9 inches by 10 feet 9 inches. So it's a little smaller than the other room. It's still rather big. Single window. The, uh, the walk-in closet here, I mean, excuse me, not the walk-in closet, but the closet here, um, gives you a little more room or a little more space than the other room so I guess that's your trade-off you lose some square footage inside the room for closet space <laughs> really big and spacious though I mean I can see you can easily fit a king in these rooms you know um, just plenty of space and now we're gonna go check out the utility room mudroom laundry room um, we have your door right there, your electrical box, we have a wash sink, and more cabinets, and more drawers, and more doors. Enough room for your side-by-side, -side, of course. With a little bit of more storage on top. Again, plenty, plenty of storage. 
right over here, these two doors make me a little happy because there's your hot water heater. I don't have to get a screwdriver or a driver. It's right there, right next door to your air conditioning unit. So, you know, a setup like this absolutely completely makes sense um, in a home like this because everything should be right there, you know. Um, sometimes you find these water heaters in bedrooms and stuff, and I'm going to start asking why. We'll find out together soon enough, everyone. <laughs> so those are the guest rooms and the guest bath area, utility room. Great amount of space. I'm loving it. Um, if you haven't had a chance to hit that subscribe button yet, um, do that. You know, Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell, so then that way you'll always be alerted to when a new home tour is posted, and you might be able to catch up to Where's Will all over the U.S. as I do these home tours. And like I said earlier, if you want to find out more information about this home and all its features, there's a link in the description below. Hit that and learn all about it. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are walking into the primary room. Now, the primary room size is 15 feet 7 inches by 14 feet 5 inches, and it is a nice big room. That, I believe, is a queen sitting in here, so it gives you a good idea of how much room you have to that space. Um, pretty nice. It has two big windows to let that light in, of course, and then we have a nice walk-in closet right here um, the only downfall which isn't really a downfall is it's wire shelving the reason it's not a downfall is because if you want that wooden shelving that's an option that you can do when you order this home so you know I hear a lot of comments you know hate the wire shelving love this that that's the cool thing about uh, manufactured housing you can change a lot of it to what you'd like so walking into the primary bath this primary bath is absolutely awesome in my opinion um, we have the two dual vanities right here, same amount of storage space as the, uh, the guest room, same setup, but really nice, looks great here. Um, a little bit of separation. There's your other uh, elongated toilet. And the one thing that I did really like is this shower. I mean, this shower is a completely open shower. Um, where just the glass. I haven't seen a setup like that. You know, usually you have either a banister or, or something, but I really like just the big, wide, open glass shower um, with that fiberglass in the back. So, um, what do you guys think about this home? You know, let me know in the comments below, like what you would change, what you like, what you don't like. Um, you know, let me know in the comments below. Let's start a conversation about this home and many of the other homes um, that we do home tours for. I enjoy traveling the U.S. and capturing all of these for us. And um, like I said, you know, we're just having a good time. It's about 3 o'clock in the morning here in Louisville. Um, everybody's gone home for the night, and this is the best time to do the home tours because somebody won't walk in on me. So that's really nice. But I'm loving this home. I hope you guys did too. Um, you know, wherever I'm going to be heading off to next, I hope you join me on that home tour. Um, it could be anywhere from, you know, here, around here in Louisville um, to, to Oregon to Florida. You never know. I'm everywhere. But thank you for joining me, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this home tour and many of the other ones that we do. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. And I will see you next time wherever that home tour is going to be. Um, again, thank you for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day. Live smarter, choose manufactured, and travel easy.